What is going on, Gameologists? Welcome back to Experts Play. My name is Cameron Fath, and with me, as always, Israel Wright, and today we're gonna to be playing more missions from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. That being said, let's get it on. All right, Darkwater, let's go, baby. Oh yeah, everybody's kitted up. Oh, nice to get a little Chris. A little Chris action, and I'm not talking about your friend Chris, I'm talking about Chris Vector. Oh, that's not a Chris Vector, looks like one. Huh, what is that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, that guy came out of nowhere. That startled me. Hey, what the heck? That startled me. Gotta check those corners, guys. You do. Oh, man, that, that reminds me. My my first team leader. It is it is scary work going into a building that you've never you've never been in before. And if there's someone in the corner, you're all switched on. It can it can surprise you. I just remember we were doing this one training mission, and my, my team leader was the first man in the room. And uh, this we were coming from the outside to the inside. And as he's pie, he's going internal. He he button hooks, and there's like a uh, a role player right there in front of him. And I just heard him scream at the top of his lungs, like shriek out of fear. <laughs> <laughs> and so like turned in, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's wrong? And then he's just like wrestling with this guy. I was like, oh my god, dude, you scared the crap out of me, man. He's like, he stuck up right on me. <laughs> Actual, we got a problem. Missile is armed. Control. We got a problem. Missile is armed. I thought you guys knew how to disarm it. That's like the whole purpose. Yeah, to get it. Let's go to the ship. Yeah, let's uh. You wanna take it, man? No, no, no. Go for it. All right, go, bud. That's you. Into the water. Oh, we're on a boat. Okay. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Yeah. Sailor around the world, going port to port. Every time I come, I produce a quart. I think is that what is that what they say? A quart of what? I said, come. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm playing a video game. Okay. So it's very interesting. Uh, in the world of special operations, each unit, whether it be Rangers, Special Forces, Navy SEALs, they all have their their capabilities. All right, so anything really... Oh, I'm not going to forget our, our MARSOC guys, our Marine Raiders. So all of us have our different specialties as well as capabilities. So typically anything maritime, you're going to see... Uh, Navy SEALs or Marine Raiders, MARSOC, handle that. Whoa, um, look out. Special Forces as well as Army Rangers do have capabilities to operate in these environments well, but, you know, other units have more training in them. Yeah, a lot of the times, especially on, you know, these cruise liners, you'll see Navy SEALs or MARSOC um, typically handle that. Uh, oh, look out! Look out! Oh, so look at pretty rough with otters here. Surprised they don't, you know, lock anything down. Yeah, what, didn't tie these things down? Gee! <laughs> That's a safety hazard. Somebody call OSHA. Built not to standard. Oh, jeez. Oh, look out. Uh, let me get down. There you go. Uh, my senses. You oh, fill up my senses like night in the forest. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, both of them. Get some. Guy on the second level. Bravo level of the staircase. Oh, Are you see ready to see him? You got him. Nice. Oh. Oh, I gotta get the cover! Uh. Oh, jeez! That dude was just taking a siesta. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Okay. Oh, God, no ammo. Got him. Mini bank. Mini bank. Hmm, close off the bridge entry. That's gonna be a tough door to breach. We going over here? Ooh. Oh, okay, I got it. Had to wait for the circle to appear. That's it. Controls are internal. All right, stand back. So they're putting on uh, explosive charges on the doors. Now the thing about breaching, it, it's all really specific to what you're trying to breach. So like, there's multiple methods of breaching. You have explosive breaching, you have thermal breaching, you have ballistic breaching, you have mechanic bre or mechanical breaching. So. With mechanical breaching, that's gonna look like, you know, your donkers or your big battering rams, as well as your your bolt cutters and sledgehammers and things we call hooli tools. Uh, but then you have ballistic breaching, which is gonna be like a shotgun. Um, and then you have explosive breaching, which you just saw, which typically a breach will carry numerous charges on them, whether it be cutting charges or uh, push charges. You know, explosive breaching and ballistic breaching and mechanical breaching are pretty much the most common sources or, uh, or tech, breaching techniques that you pretty much see on a target. Just because it's easy to carry the tools on your back, 
uh, and with charges, you know, you can carry numerous charges on one person it, uh, along with initiating devices and each charge uh, defeats different doors. Try to uh, not to expose myself before I can get a beat on my on the guys that are in the in the room. So I'm kind of pieing off the corners, trying to get a visual on them before they get a visual on me. I mean, we practice pretty much room clearing, especially you know special forces and ranger regiment and conventional army too. Uh, practice room clearing a lot, and pretty much like any type of CQB is really a game of angles, right? So utilizing cover to mask your movement as well as what Izzy said pieing off which essentially is a clearing technique that uh your line of sight on this one yeah you focus on that focus sorry on. mini game time yeah he's in game time that's way but yeah utilizing the pie technique is just a, is a way of quickly clearing or deliberately clearing uh which you're trying to utilize your line of sight uh around a barricade to where um you're kind of taking these small steps and opening your fields of fire because if I'm standing, you know, out in the open and I'm utilizing a doorway or, or the edge of a barricade, which could be a hallway or another entry, if I'm utilizing the pie technique correctly, especially if I'm a right-handed shooter on a left-facing door or a left-side door, I should be able to see their shoulder and their leg before they see me. Camera, this is all good stuff to, to, to hear from you because, you know, I got out quite a while ago and it's tactics have evolved, but it's nice to hear what what has changed and what hasn't changed. Yeah, I mean, back in the day, it used to just be how many guys can we pack in a room? You know? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, like, we had points of domination. We have center fed versus corn, uh, yeah, corner, fed, corner fed room, you know, but, uh, you know, it's uh, there's a lot more thought put into it and a lot more an emphasis on getting the soldier to be a thinker before just being a body in a room. Yeah, it's, it, you know, training has evolved to such a level to where, you know, the tactics you see used nowadays are light years ahead of what they used maybe five or 10 years ago. So that's how quickly they're evolving. Hell oh, yeah, buddy. Very nice, very nice. You did it? Look at that, Steve, a bloody Jesus. I don't do, I generally don't do that well in mini games, so I got that first try. I'm very proud of myself. There you go. Did you die? Not once. Not once. Good for you. A new record, folks. Good thing there wasn't any driving involved. Turn this into a drinking game. Every time we die, take a shot. That last episode, you guys would be in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bravo 7 one in the blind. Who copy? Cameron, this is a stealth mission. You want to try this one? Sure. Yeah, stealth mission. <laughs> I try to get going. I feel like if Price is the, the, the dad you always wanted, Ghost is like the cool uncle you always wanted. Yeah, the one that brings hookers to the to the Yeah, the, the bad influence. Yeah. He yeah. gives you a beer at seven. He's like, don't tell your dad. <laughs> 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 Bring in uh, questionable women to the family gathering. Yes, women of ill repute. Oh, I heard about this mission. You have to crawl all across town. That's the mission, really. You're just crawling the entire town. Okay. About now, my elbows and my knees are screaming. <laughs> it's like the Spartan race. Get up. Ow. Ooh. I'm good. Yeah, there you go. Find out how good you are. Keep your blood in, you'll need every drop. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Keep your blood in, that's the best military tactic I think I've ever heard. Look for supplies, things you can make tools with. Welcome to Guerrilla Warfare. Right now, it looks like Soap's in a situation where he's got to, like, MacGyver some stuff together. Uh, and I get the I get the basic idea, because he's got to jam doors open and uh, create little, like, uh, improvised tools, MacGyver style, which uh, I admire. But he's definitely outnumbered. We, we typically don't roll into areas uh, unless we've got what's called overwhelming force, <laughs> which is, you know, like a three-to-one kind of thing. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh, oh my God! Oh, no. Run to the bathroom! Oh, close the door. Maybe they'll forget about you. Yeah, occupado! <laughs> oh no! No, oh, no. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I mean, maybe you go into the bathroom first, and then you wait for them to like pass you by. I don't know. Okay. It will be more of that. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, I'll, I'll, I'll admit I'll something to you, Cameron. I've played this before, and I died. A lot. Okay, is that why you're having me play this? Oh, there's some, uh, there's some metal, some tinkerage. Metal. Oh, I can't crack it. I need to find some rope. What about this toilet plunger? 
You could break the handle off and create a shank with it. Yeah, or I could just use the top of the toilet as a club. But you I could take the potpourri and throw it in their face. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just uh, brushing my teeth in here. Don't mind me. <laughs> just brush the good dental hygiene. Can you hear? I'm just gonna close that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, if I could use that plunger and just kind of suck his soul out of him. Yeah, that's right. Right through the mouth. Not not that way though. Navigate through the house. Okay, maybe I'll try this again. Yeah, go slow. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast, Cam. Tenemos mas policia. Cops helping cartels. Let's show them how we handle corruption, yeah? You, sir. You can crouch too, remember. Yeah, there you go. I wouldn't go out there, but maybe you can. Yeah, they go. I gotta go upstairs. Yeah, good, good, good. Are you okay? I think he's gonna pull through. It's just a flesh wound, okay. Oh, he's alive. Jesus. Okay, torch it. Oh, they're gonna put it on fire. What is that? A headlamp? Oh, nice. All right, cool. All right, now it's a horror film. Good. Careful with it. Can light your way but attract attention. It's like the Blair Witch Project. What's the latest? Marks are killing everything in their path. War crimes. Makes me want to a few war crimes of my own. Tyranny. It won't stand. I think we'll get a green light to go after these guys. No more green lights, Johnny. It's locked. We're on our own. Locked. What about Captain Price? Price? Price isn't here, is he? The old man can't bail us out, not this time. Always trust the captain. captain. If he knew, he'd be here. Be careful who you trust, Sergeant. People you know can hurt you the most. Good advice, LT. What? Price would never hurt us. You want to be better than me, Johnny? Who will be? Good man. Think I'll live that long? Probably not. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, Ghost. Yeah. Man, I'm all turned around. I don't know where you are. Me neither. I'm crawling around on the ground. I feel like Velma after she lost her glasses, dude. <laughs> Pink tits or more stuff. Did I come from this room? Mm, uh, uh, I don't think so. I was... I, I, try that door. There you go. No idea what's happening right now. <laughs> I lose my fan blade. That's the game's biggest fan. Nothing can break off one of these poles, use them as a club. You're passing by an entire shell full of knives, guns. You're like, no, I'll take no, the broken fucking fans. bell. What do you mean? I'm gonna go check it out. Gosh, darn it. God. I'm gonna use some of this broken glass. Can I? No. Cause it feels just like I'm a walking on broken glass. I think this level you're you're purposefully walking slow. I'm not even can you can you run? You don't want to attract any attention. You got no weapons, you're completely outnumbered and surrounded. It's another bottle. Oh, maybe I got some You got any guns on you, bro? When I pick some of those shells and then hit the back of the shell, hit the pin with the hammer. Please. Several. That's so lazy, you're just taking a nap right there. Wait, turn to the left. There you go. Uh, I led you astray. Sorry, Cam. Oh, that's okay. I have a knife. Where is it, though? Where'd that knife go? Oh, crap. Oh, God. Maybe I throw a spot at him. <laughs> I take that! Oh, the broken glass! Where'd that knife go? Oh, you didn't get a knife, Cameron. You only thought you got a knife. Oh no, this guy can't. Ah, yeah, I got a. 
Oh, uh, dang down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> we got three. Three. Take it down. Take it down, Cameron. Yeah. God. Oh, my gosh. Yes, take all their weapons. Oh, I made it. You made it, Cameron. I can't believe you're still alive. That's awesome. One man army. <laughs> you sure showed them, Zach Efron. Get yourself a new pair of sneakers, maybe a new cowboy hat. And yeah, it was just killing everybody out here. Yeah. Had your kids, had your wife. Killing everybody out here. Is that a guy? No. Uh, okay. It is like a horror movie. You see like a dude, but it's like, it's not a dude. What's in here? Uh, survival kit. What the heck is that? Explosive. Oh, okay, good. All right. Of like seek and you shall find. Who puts a who puts a a, a block of play doh in a Contico, you know, in a pelican case? Oh, improvised mine, baby. Now we're talking. I wouldn't arm it yet. I wouldn't arm it and then carry it. One wrong move and you're dead. Ah, uh, the rain, Cam. You ever do any, any training in the rain? If, you ain't, if it ain't raining, you ain't training. Oh yeah, all the time. You know. More than anybody, man. Washington. Yeah, <laughs> ah, it's true. Yeah, you ain't. Yeah, that's where the saying comes from. If it ain't raining, you ain't training. Yeah, man. Yeah. No matter what, tell you, you don't. You don't get uh, days off. We don't stop training for the rain. It's just you just suck it up, deal with it. Put on some clothing. Yep. <laughs> some rain protective clothing. And get after it. I like the rain though. I love the rain. Always a fan of the rain. Yeah, it also helps out if you're uh, in an environment. Yeah, the rain is like if you're running an op, it reduces your sound signature so like if you're moving around in the woods getting ready for a nap or trying to sneak up on someone and you got rain cover yep helps out a lot i would rather be really really wet and rainy than uh than be sweating my <laughs> off in the desert mm, i prefer the i prefer the desert environments like oh go over the box give it a box oh there's more more boonies locked oh it's locked oh man I don't have enough materials to fashion something. I never did any missions in any kind of any kind of uh, South American style, like you know, jungle environments. Uh, training I did was in Georgia, North Carolina. It gets humid there, but uh, uh, then I was deployed to Iraq, and that was it for me in terms of those kinds of environments. Spent a little bit of time in Cambodia on like a nice short little deployment, kind of just uh, relationship building. But that's about it. Can I get on anything? Can I climb over this? Come on, you can fall like two stories, but you can't climb up a couple feet. Okay, can't go this way. Can I go back the other way? You up the stairs? Already. Let's see here. I can go up here. Ah, yeah. Oh, Carol! Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was a booby trap. Booby trap. Who just randomly booby traps their house? Oh, Sweet. all right, shotgun time. It's like one of those like hunting shotguns. Hey, I'm... Disarmed, Disarmed it. it with, with my, my body. body. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody try to come through that? Can you hear something? Yeah. Probably cinematic sequence, <laughs> cutscene. There oh. you go. Uh, Do you mind dying somewhere else? The tape is in the. Uh, uh. I'm in the coffee shop. Guess the tape. <laughs> Brits. <laughs> Brits. Ah, oh, my ankles repeatedly. Oh my gosh. We caught the red deer. It's one four one. It's still dangerous. Or one. That's right. He's one four one. They're looking for us right now. There we go. Nice now. Ooh, good. I'm sorry. Oh no! I thought I did that very. Tough. I thought I did it. You did the very subtle. Gosh, can you just not be seen by anybody? Oof! This is displaced, man. Got to displace. Hey, all right. Stick it in. Really like that. The head. Yeah, I really like that's his good. That's his move, man. Remember the Zach Efron move. Remember switching your knife is always faster than reloading. <laughs> that's what the knife is for, is so you can do takedown. Okay, now I think it's clear. Never mind. <laughs> now it's for sure clear. 
quite a lot of them out there. They're nothing if not persistent. Okay, let them kind of pass by. I could kill you right now, have that power. <laughs> the power of life and death in the palm of my hand. Uh, we're fighting our way through. Sorry. You're making it through, Cam. Kind of slightly to your right, maybe. There you go. Yeah, a little bit. Nice, Cam. Okay, where is the church? Over there. You gotta jump uh, over the rail there. Love just hearing countless gunshots. Man, Cameron, you uh, you did this in a lot fewer tries than I did, man. So good, good on you. Don't sell yourself short, there, buddy. <laughs> Wee! Time to go for a swim. Oh god, so dirty. Brown water. I'm in a tunnel. Oh god. Look at that goose step in there. Right next to you. Yeah, all right, Cam. The double takedown from double under the take water. Down. Very Rambo of you, my okay, friend. Man. I'm gonna take that. There you go. Oh my gosh, what are these guys doing? Only carrying around 18 bullets with them. I'm a slithery little snake. A slithery little snake You're coming to kill you. Where you go? He's find the pillar. And I'm underneath the water. You can't see me because I'm underneath the water now. Oh, I can't take him. The heck? Yeah. And back under three shotgun shots to the face. Cameron, what do you think about this compared to kind of a normal run and gun style mission in the Call of Duty series? You like the slower pace, the sneaking around, or do you prefer like more of a stand up fight? Um, definitely different feelings going on. This is, uh, you know, you're on the edge of your chair. Ah, uh, okay. Like a suspense, like a well spun out suspense film. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why he's just by himself, but that's okay. <laughs> I like the going underwater in order to reload tactic. Using a gun underwater, man, you know, it's doable. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. If the action can still, if we can still perform the action, if that pin can still fire, bullet's not gonna go very far. Make sure you are following Gameology on Facebook and YouTube, and as well as subscribing to Shift Fire, the Pop Culture Field Manual podcast, watching Izzy on stream, and supporting Kit God Apparel. Folks, you wanna take us out? See you on the next one, team.